Hey, what's going on guys, it's Hugh here. And today we have a highly requested, very important video to make, and that is the ranking of all of the torches in the game. There are six in total, and we're going to rank them based on, um, I, I don't know at this point. We're going to figure it out, but we're going to rank them. Um, if you do not know what a torch is, it is a burning stick of resinous wood or twist of tow used to give light and usually carried in a hand. And in this game of Elden Ring, as you said, there are six in total. Just going to go over all the damage numbers real quick. They are not important. We're never going to go over them again. So if you want to see it, now's your chance. Because we're going to be covering much more important things as it comes to the torches. And covering things like the ambience lighting, the contrast of the light, and even the, the texture of the wood used itself. These are much more important things than going over damage numbers. Obviously, because torches are only really used for one thing. So, for torches, they are kind of underpowered in this game, um, purely by the fact that they cannot light up candles. For whatever reason, it kind of just... A very big up missed, missed opportunity is probably the biggest missed opportunity in the game. The fact that you cannot light a candle kind of ruins the immersion. I'm very disappointed about that. I wish they just implemented that, but what can you do? Um, but obviously, the most broken attack on this torch itself is actually the guard. So when you hold guard, it brings a lot more light to the room, which is honestly amazing. So I'll tell you why this is really good. So in lighting, there are three main points of lighting that you need to be aware of. There is the key light, which is your primary light, which highlights the main object of the scene. Um, there is the fill light, which cancels out any shadows. And as you can see, when I use this light, cancels out all the shadows. And there is also the back light also, which pretty much highlights the target as a whole and just really centralizes the main object of said scene. And in this case, this light does it really well as soon as you lift it up in the air, centralizes the light force, it just spreads it out very evenly. Very, very broken attack. Um, one other broken mechanic or exploit that you can do with this um, is related to the crouch. So as you can see, when you crouch and uncrouch is a decent speed animation, but when you're crouching and you block, it, it quickens the speed by about three times the amount, which is honestly insane. So anytime you're crouching and you want to stand up, definitely equip a torch before you do it, because you do it a lot quicker. And all in all, the guard function on... The guard animation is probably my favorite animation in gaming history. This dates back to even the Dark Souls days. It's always been the funniest animation to look at. Um, especially in Dark Souls 3, it was really great. In this game, probably not as good. Still pretty funny. Definitely, like, to spam it though. Oh yeah, that's good. Anyway. Okay, first weapon we're going to be going over is the generic torch. Just looking at the design choices of this weapon really quick. I um, am a big fan of it. As someone who is an aspiring torch creator myself, looking forward to getting into it. Um, haven't really had any experience as of yet, but this definitely gives me a lot of inspiration. The thickness of the wood is just perfect. The texture design is also amazing as well. Um, the cloth doused in flammable liquids is an extremely good call in this situation. It is a very safe pick, but as for a torch, you can't really go wrong with this one overall. As for the lighting that this one does give off, it is pretty yellow in my opinion. I don't really like how bright that it can get. I definitely prefer a more warmer, vibrant look. Um, this one does definitely give up the vibe of those American film directors when they're shooting a scene in Mexico for whatever reason, they just have to make it more yellow. Don't know why, that's just the way it is. But all in all, this is definitely one of the torches. Okay, next torch we have here is the Beast Repellent Torch. Just looking at the design choices really quick. We'll compare it back to the regular torch, and it is identical in its design. And as somebody that has about a year's worth of design torch experience, I'm just not too big of a fan of this design choice whatsoever. Uh, as for the lighting, though, it does give off a more fiery and orange vibe to the light, which I'm a big, bigger fan of compared to the Mexican movie Yellow. This one, definitely a lot better. It brings a warmer vibe to your surroundings as well. So as you can see, these skeletons, it really just brings them to life. Well, like not to life because they're dead, but it you see them in a new light. Well, it is. It made sense the first time. Shut up. 
Okay, next weapon we have here is the Steel Wire Torch. Uh, one thing I just want to compare it to real quick is the Beast Repellent Torch, because obviously this one is the torch that has a um, strength scaling of a B, and it has straight lines going up and down its hilt, where we compare it to the Steel Wire Torch, which has a better dexterity scaling, and it's not straight. I'm not sure what From Software is trying to apply with dex and not straight. I'm not one to associate or like lump in um, dex users to a certain thing. I'm just stating the law. Um, but looking in further detail with this design choices, um, I'm not too big of a fan as someone that has a couple of years experience in designing torches myself. There's a lot of flaws happening here. So as you can see, there's a lot of reddish um, happening on the hilt because as it's all made of steel, so it's clearly burning the entire thing. And as you can see, it's clearly burning my character's hand because it is looking a little red. I don't know about you guys. But as you look further in detail, there seems to be a can of Coke stuck inside. I don't I don't know what's that about. I don't know who got the idea that Coke was something that was flammable. It's really not. We um, used wood and timber to burn things. This is just a terrible design choice and it doesn't even look like it's stuck in there probably. It is like wedged it in. I don't, I don't know. They're just throwing shit together to see what sticks. Okay, next torch we'll be going to covering is the Sentry's Torch. Just looking at the design choices really quick. And I am a fan of this one. As someone that has about five years of creative experience with torches themselves, this one does bring a smile to my face. Mainly in part of the hilt itself, or the bottom of the hilt. The rounded curvature of it is very, very handy. Along your journey, you'll be getting pretty lonely and you'll need a companion and someone to, or something to help relieve your tension, so to speak. And the curvature of the bottom of the hilt um, really makes it good for inserting in certain areas. Um, let's talk about more of the design. As you can see, um, the material used to burn um, is either a coal or fire, which I'm not too, a coal or a wood, excuse me, which is something I'm not too big of a fan of. Um, nowadays, we use cans of Coke to burn things. It's much more beneficial. Um, yeah, this kind of needs to get with the times a little bit. So you're not too big of a fan of that. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of this bark wrapped around lazily around the torch itself, so I'm not too big a fan of. I feel like to try to give it more of like an Erd tree feel, because this does have a faith scaling, believe it or not. And obviously, doing that split fired, split holy damage. Split holy damage? Why is the fire doing, why is the fire doing holy damage? From software. From, from software. From, from, why, why is the fire doing holy damage? Why, why, why the fire do holy damage from software? Why does it do holy damage? Look at me when I'm talking here. Okay, next up we have here is the Ghost Flame Torch. Uh, this is the only torch with an intelligence scaling, which is kind of ironic because it is by far the least intelligent weapon here. Because as you can see, there is a skull at the end of it. And clearly what's happened here, uh, Greg thought it'd be a good idea to be out with the boys and for fun, just use a plunger on his bold ass head and I guess he pulled a little bit too hard and now this is just the end result and yeah now Greg's a torch unlike it for him and he's not even a good torch either it's just, it's just a white light they, they forgot to color it in as well so it's literally like a phone flashlight I mean f flashlight actually when I think about it it kind of does look like a flashlight nice okay last of the torches we have the Saint Trina's torch and as you can tell, it is purple. And honestly, it wasn't always going to be purple. There's actually a specific reason as to why that is. Um, if you haven't known this already, um, Samuel L. Jackson went to Mihizaki himself and requested that one of the torches were to be purple. And that's what we got. So it was a very big, wholesome 100 Big Chungus Keanu Reeves Reddit moment. But as for the design of the torch, um, as someone who's been designing torches for about 10 years himself, um, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Sublime, perfect, just design overall. I'm a big fan of this. It's amazing. Um, one thing that I do like just as much as the design of the weapon is the law. I'll just read you out the law tab really quick. Um, candle stand torch that burns with a light purple flame. The carvings depict Saint Trina, but in adult form, somewhat unnervingly. So, what I'm gathering from this law description right here is that the art team on From Software and the game design slash balancing team at From Software were having a little bit of beef with one another. Um, I'm sure it was because like the art team wanted 
one thing one way and they one wanted one thing the other way and just kind of just developed this beef and throughout the game there's through like a lot of like subliminal jabs between one another and this weapon actually holds one of these subliminal jabs so i just want to show you really quick so as you can see here there is some text on the weapon itself so there's been a lot of speculation online as to what language this could be or what language it is similar to but it's actually not a different language at all it's actually the doctor's handwriting so and i can translate that to you right now it states quote creating enemies that one shot doesn't make a game challenging it's just bad game design end quote so clearly nobody likes the balancing team which honestly is an amazing thing if it's um law accurate but yeah so all in all amazing weapon amazing law just really good design definitely one of the best okay now time for the favorite build portion of the video so you're obviously gonna be doing damage against steven to test out i'm um, using the basic torch because it is the best torch in the game in terms of damage how we want to use this build is it's pretty much use the high damage of the torch itself get him really weak and just use something else to clean him up so as you see right now, um, a lot of damage has been done. So at this point, you can just uh, really switch to your off and open the rivers of blood and just clean them up. As such, um, honestly makes for an insane torch build. Torches are extremely powerful in this game, as you just saw. Um, they probably need a nerf sometime soon, so I definitely use this build beforehand. Because yeah, torches are absolutely ridiculous at, the po at this point. Okay, time for my rankings involving all of the torches in the game. And obviously at number one, we have the beast repellent torch. This one is just my fairy torch. It has a nice warm, vibrant color that has, for the light that it does give off. has a nice strength scaling, which is obviously something you really want. The damage is good. The moveset is also amazing. And just the design is a very generic, plain looking design, but it does really well for what it's supposed to be. Uh, number two, we have the Claymore. Um, this is not a torch. I just think it's a pretty neat weapon. Uh, number three, we have the Ghost, Place to Ghost Flame Torch. Excuse me. So this one is the torch that um, procs sleep on enemies, and obviously sleep is extremely powerful. Um, the fact that you can just use it and knock enemies out pretty much for free by hitting them a few times times is extremely good. Uh, number four, the Saint Trina's Torch. This is the one that does the magic damage um, and does frost build up also, and frost is almost as good as um, sleep. So honestly, I, I think the Saint Trina's Torch is a little bit better than the Ghost Flame Torch, hence why I have it at number four, um, compared to that one at number three. Um, number five, I have Melina. Um, I just think she's a pretty neat NPC. Um, kind of a missed opportunity. She was kind of hyped up a little bit before um, the game came out and kind of fell flat with a connection between her and, and the player character, but she's still overall um, solid NPC. Um, number six, you have the Beast Repellent Torch. So this one, definitely the worst torch in the game. I don't really care for all the colors at all. The very generic and lazy torch design just reskinned to this weapon itself. Um, the fact that it has a B scaling and strength um, that doesn't really mean much because the damage is just not there. Um, all other torches pretty much do just as much damage or more damage, even though this gets a B scaling and strength, so it's pretty bad. Um, number seven, we have Dark Souls 2 hitboxes. So, this one, um, it's pretty bad. So, if you've ever played that game, um, I suggest you don't. Um, because you will have a horrible time, doesn't matter how much adaptability you have. Um, you will get hit by almost anything at any given moment over the most stupidest of reasons. So yeah, awful. Um, our next torch, we have the Fortnite Tactical Shotgun. Um, this one just received a whole bunch of nerfs over time. Not really um, too much of a fan of it uh, at this given point in time. Um, but in its heyday, it was absolutely amazing. Spamming shots were really good with this. Makes it for ease of use. It wasn't really like the... Um, pro weapon, but it is stayed for a very solid weapon overall. And uh, last on list, number 10, uh, we have the Demon Slayer anime is mid. So, um, it's just a generic shonen anime. It doesn't have much going for it. The uh, um, protagonist himself is um, not really that likable. Um, it doesn't really have any nuance to his character at all. Um, the whole premise and sister-brother complex is kind of weird. And the whole, like, friendship fighting together. And it's it's kind of like worn out at this point and the only thing carrying this anime is just the animation style itself if it wasn't for that it would honestly be trash so yeah um but that's pretty much it for my torch ranking um don't forget to ring the subscribe button and share the bell and see you next one guys peace